We want to talk about Starship Troopers started out. Can you kind of give a little bit of background? I don't know anything about this game, Phil. Mm -hmm. What is it on? What can you play it on? I don't think it's on consoles yet, so I think it's only PC. No. I'll, I mean, I'll look it up real fast. Yeah, but. double check on it because I know that they are doing a console release right okay. now. Um, I think it's still in early access. Okay, it's Starship Troopers Exterminations, yes. right? Okay. All right. But yeah, give your review, man. Uh, yeah. Kind of what is Starship Troopers? All so, this stuff. Yeah. Um, Starship Troopers Extermination really takes the campiness and like um, that really satirical oh man how do I phrase this that really satirical campiness attitude that the game or that the movie has provided especially from the first movie mm -hmm. and pretty much just turns it into a game um, is it honestly, over the top? yeah it's really over the top super um Democracy. It's pretty much like Hell Divers 2, except it's what I think it is based off of. Um, uh -huh. for is it first play, or third? It's actually a first person shooter, okay. this one. So, for those of you guys who play like Hell Divers 2, it's pretty much think of it as like a co op experience up to 16 players. Oh. Yeah. It's really Oh, so cool. it's a bigger squad. Yeah. It's. It's a lot of fun, and I think I like it a little bit more. Because, than Helldivers, okay. Yeah, simply because it's like, since you have so many people, you get to interact with so so many guys who are just like role-playing and yeah. really into it. The community for that game are really awesome. They're over the top. They love screaming when things happen and they get blown up, and it's really cool. Um, a lot of the objectives are really awesome as well so basically you kind of start off on like these 16 player missions you traverse the map you might have like an objective to like grab this or to so pump. literally like hell yeah. divers so like pump fuel or you have to go to a base that is was it taken open over. or is it linear it's pretty open actually okay it's like a really open map and so you would have like this giant map and you go to like this base and you would actually get these resources to like do like a base defense kind of mm -hmm. segment and you have to communicate with 15 other people and build like a really secure base and like have towers and everything and then you do like a horde style like hold out mm -hmm. and then whatever the objective is you might have to carry something out or you might just have to defend the place for a while just to make sure that the yeah. place is safe and then uh, they cut all the respawns off and then they'll drop in the drop ship and you have to pretty much make it out. And if someone, if at least one person makes it, you win. Okay. But you try to get everyone in and everyone. Okay. Just, yeah. That's cool. No PVP, right? Just PVE? Yeah, just PVE. Okay. Um, so I'm someone that's never seen a full Starship Troopers oh, movie. Dude, I think we've talked about it. Yeah. They're amazing. Um, honestly, you could just watch the first one. Yeah, yeah. That's what I've heard. So do you feel it's very much in the style of the movies? Yeah, over the top uh, democracy. You could obviously see the satirical fascism, yeah. and all that, and it's really cool. A, a good, a good bug is a dead bug. And yeah, they really lean into that. How many uh, enemy variants are in it? They have all the kinds of the arachnids. From okay, the movies. Um, are they pretty hard to kill, or are they fast, or like do they swarm you? So they have like an artillery one. Oh, okay. So they'll like put them all the way back in the map. And they'll literally bombshell from across. That's the map. cool. It's really cool. Um, did you ever play World War Z? I'm curious. Yes, Is it kind of like that? Um, in like in the vein of like how how much you can get swarmed by or. Sorry, give me like three seconds. You okay? Yeah. No, I'm thinking. Oh, more. okay. I'm like drawing the comparison, I don't think it's like super. Because I remember that World War Z game. All the zombies would like mm -hmm. run at you, and I was yeah. like, oh fuck. It, it's cool. Um. I know it's hard to say because I only really got to play on the lower end difficulties. Okay. So I haven't really got to experience like the really the high, the higher tier. end stuff. Yeah. Cause they okay. have a class. It's all like class based. So oh, okay. So what classes. classes did they have? So the one that I'm really focusing on is like, um, it's like a defender class. So he gets like an LMG. Oh, and you level and, it up. Yeah. And, uh, what's really cool about him is that you have like the shield and pretty much you, it's like a 360 degree mm -hmm. coverage. You plant yourself in the ground and uh, like a wall comes up and it pretty much protects you and it makes it so that way your gun has like no recoil and you oh, can that's just like cool. mag dump. It's really cool. It's like a last stand kind of feeling. Nice. 
Nice. I, mean? they have I like dig snipers, that. Snipers, and then they have jetpacks. I'm pretty sure. Nice. So I dig that. Yeah, I, I really. How's the, the how's how's it run overall? Is it pretty solid? How's the um, shooting? I'm always a big shooter. On yeah, how it so shoots. the shooting feels pretty good. If anyone who's like into PC gaming, it kind of reminds me of like Squad, as far as like the shooting goes. Mm-hmm. It's not very. Um, I don't know what the shooting mechanics would call it, but like how in Rainbow Six Siege or like Call of Duty. Yeah you move your analog stick and the camera moves with the gun, right? Yeah. In this game, the gun kind of moves and then the camera follows. Okay. So it's very much like... More sway. Yeah. So more realistic, I guess, mm-hmm. is more the approach. It's I think that's how Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is going to be. Oh, really? From the movement, so? yeah. When I was Well, when I was watching the gameplay and you see someone strafing to the left, the gun's moving, moving like that. Camera. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which I like that style a little bit more, so... Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. Anything else you kind of have like thoughts on overall, like things that you would like to see in the game? Do you think there's enough to like support this game for a while or is it more just come on the developers? I think there's definitely to, uh, sorry. No, there's you're good, man. There's definitely a lot of potential. Okay. Um, I do think there is quite a bit of content. I know that they did have a recent big update. I don't yeah. remember how recent it was. It was recent. I, I saw it when I was looking at it. It's buy yeah. for everyone else. It's early access right now on PC, but it will be on consoles October 11th. Gotcha. So that's okay. when the full release is. So that's when I'll finally be able to play it. My PC or my laptop, my gaming laptop will not play this shit. Yeah. Um, it, it looks it fun, though. pretty well. I mean, uh, so I run a 5900... Mm-hmm. Um, CPU Ryzen, okay. pretty much, and I have a 3090. Yeah. I mean, it runs over 100 mm-hmm. frames for me. So if someone were to choose between this and Helldivers 2 with their friends, mm-hmm. which one would you recommend? If they have like a lot of friends, I think Starship Troopers has a lot. That's of the thing that's PC. So I'm going to be honest with you. I was not going to play this. I wasn't going to buy it. I wasn't even thinking about like getting mm-hmm. it for consoles. I was like, I'll just live through Phil and enjoy it for what it is. But I really liked Helldivers too. But I always wished you could play with more people because we have uh, a group of friends on PlayStation. There's like six or seven of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, four of us started playing. Well, the other ones are just by themselves with randoms. Where if it was Starship Troopers, we could have all joined. Yeah. So okay, I like that. Um, Other than that, what would you score it out of ten right now? I definitely think it's an 8 out of 10 for okay. me. I really liked it. It yeah. was definitely uh, very campy. I love just the community. Uh-huh. Like I said, I only really got like 16 to 20 hours in the game. Okay. So I'm very new to it all. Um, I. But you're excited I, to keep yeah, playing it. Like I managed to just push through like what is like the beginner baby difficulties. Mm-hmm. How much does it cost? Do you know how much um, you paid for it? I can look that up too. Yeah, I think when I originally purchased it, it was like thirty bucks. It's twenty two point forty nine right now as we are recording on Steam. It's twenty five percent off. So yeah, so I was gonna say it's probably having a bunch of sales. It's okay. been doing a lot of sales. I loved it though. That's cool. I like that, man. I like that. Uh, so with that said, guys. Go check out Starship Troopers. Thank you so much to the developers again for giving us the game. 